All right, it's been a few days since we hooked these batteries in parallel. Let's take a look at some values. Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, it's been mostly dark and rainy since I hooked those batteries up, and right now getting the first burst of sunshine that I've really seen since we hooked them up. <laughs> and as you can see, the makings of a pond right there with all the rain that I've caught in the past few days. So right now, looking at the charge controller on top, you can see we got 325 watts coming in. That's about the most I've seen since I hooked those batteries up. It's up to 13.9, so it's getting on its way to a full charge. Uh, this, you know, the state of charge for the bank, that's not accurate. That 25%, I'll have to reset that as soon as we get to 100% full. But everything's looking good. Only pulling 13 watts off now on the inverter. So let's check these batteries out real quick on the values. Okay, right now I'm getting 13.75 on this first battery. You can see my leads tied in here, and I'll just go down the line. 13.76 on the second one there. 13.78 on the third one here. And of course, the the wattage coming in off those paddle panels is fluctuating a little bit while I'm doing this. So you can see it's all very close and we'll test this last one here. And it's reading 13.71 on this last one. Kind of hard to do <laughs> with only two hands, but we can see real quick that that wattage on the solar panels, the 400 watt array dropped down to 116. So uh, that's the reason that's dropping. So otherwise, they're holding basically exactly the same. If that wattage would have held tight on the solar panel array, I'm sure they would have all been almost exactly right because now I've got uh, a little more, 108 watts. This last one's jumping up to 13.67. If it would have been holding that 300 and some watts when I first started checking all these, I'm sure they would have all been just fine. And we'll take a look at the log for the past four days. This one, two, three, four. This is the one right there where we started on that day. Let's go down and take a peek at the value, see if we see anything crazy. As you can see, the first day we only got up to 13.29. Or, or that was the minimum, I'm sorry. We got as high as 13.75, 13.49, 13.7. Yesterday actually hit 14.2 momentarily. Not seeing any crazy voltages. Everything looks good. 72, 70, 71, 72. There's how many watt hours. 380, 170. Pretty dark days. Pretty dark. Today it's actually opening up and being pretty good, but not seeing anything. Everything looks like it's working just fine. These were the values of the previous battery that was tied up before we decided to put all of these in parallel. So yeah, and then now it just says it went into absorption. I just looking up here and I can see my absorption light. So we should be at like 14.2. And there we are, we are, we're at 14.22. Just went into absorption. And then I will be able to go ahead and tell the smart shunt now I can go ahead and basically tell that that that's 100% full as opposed to the 26% that it's trying to read. So let's see if I can do that here. Let's go here. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do that. All right. Usually gives me a, a synchronizing. Maybe that's on the flip it around. I never quite remember which way that goes. Let's try that again. No, not seeing it there. I know on my phone app it does. On this map, all the apps vary just a little bit between devices, but 
I want to go ahead and tell it that we're we're basically 100% full. Once I get up to 14.2, I definitely consider that. Whether it finishes off the absorption completely, that's close enough. Let me see if I just tap that. I think I'm gonna just have to do it on the phone. I'll do that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna be able to do it on this. I had just forgotten you guys, pardon me. I thought it was only on the phone, but you go up here to your settings here, and then click battery. And now I can go ahead and set the battery state of charge to 100%. Okay. Synchronize. Okay. Okay, so now I know I've got 100% battery bank. And now at the end of the day and over the night as that discharges, this value will be very, very close. I mean, I might have been able to get, you know, 99% or whatever, but I'm once I get up to 14.2, I'm happy with going ahead and telling this battery bank that I've got 100% state of charge. So there we go, 100% state of charge and absorption now. 83 watts is all it's coming in off those panels, and you can see the voltage has dropped down just a little bit below 14.2, which it's trying to do. And as the sun pops back out, it'll push it right back up to 14.2. But So anyway, I'm not seeing anything uh, weird about hooking these up in parallel. This is not what I planned to do and leave it. This is just all an experiment to see how it worked. Everything looks like it's working good. As long as I had steady uh, wattage coming off those solar panels, everything read absolutely identical. And just during the experiment today, you know, as the clouds rolled through and dropped that wattage down, of course, everything went down a little bit by the time I walked down the line. But as you could see in the beginning, they were, they were spot on. Every battery was reading perfectly. So pretty happy with all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this set up for at least the next couple of days and let it try and get up to full charge every day. And then I discharge it a little overnight and I'll keep an eye on all of those values, but everything's looking real good about like I would have expected. And like I said, this isn't really what I wanna do for any kind of a permanent situation. I just mainly wanted to get these batteries charged up again, and then I'm gonna pull them off and put another one in there. And then I know that these batteries will be fully charged. I can drop them in to any application that I get ready to make, which I am going to make a couple of more. So, uh, yeah, I'll see how that turns out. But, you know, the experiment went well. And there the sun popped out a little bit more, allowing 118 watts to come in and hold that rock steady at 14.2. And right now... The entire battery bank is reading 14.1 going from end to end like I am right here. So, yeah, pretty good. And I am running an inverter right now. So the little bit of difference, like you can see down there at the bottom on the VE Direct, it's 14.21. The Smart Shunt, 14.22. And the Charge Controller, 14.2. So, yeah, everything looking really, really good. So those four in parallel are now acting like one battery. That was a pretty good experiment. I expected that. And some of you had asked to see some values. So that's what we did today while I could take advantage of the sun being out. And I just tested every single one of those again and every single one of those read 14.11 with all of that going on there. So pretty good on my way to float for the first time with this system. And you can see there's just the slightest deviation between the charge controller, the smart shunt, and the uh, VE Direct, the inverter. So 14.20, 14.23, and 14.19. So a little bit, and that's, I see that on all my systems, every little device that's hooked up, charge controller, smart shunt, the inverter, they all read a little bit different. Nothing to get worked up about right there. You can see they're almost, you know, I call that all talking to each other very well. 
So yeah, I mean, the, the light's drawing a few watts, the inverter's drawing a few watts. You know, there's gonna be a little deviation between all of these devices, but pretty darn close. So it's fairly early in the afternoon, and I expect the way things look that that'll probably go ahead and get all the way into the float uh, cycle today. And um, so that'll be very, very nice to see that too. So it took about four days to get this all fully charged after I hooked it up. And that's only because it's been some very dark, rainy days and that's supposed to continue for a while. So I'm gonna call that a successful experiment and I gotta get out here and do a little bit of cleaning up before I lay that pond liner. I really wanna get that in there here fairly quick especially while it's gonna be rainy. And in the meantime, I've got some new products have been set out here for a review. One I'm pretty excited about, it's supposed to get in this afternoon and it's been a while since I've seen one of these things roll in here. So that's gonna be fun to bring you guys. And I got a new water system to put in as well that's been sent out. I'm anxious to check that out too. So there's a lot of good, good stuff coming up. And yeah, All right, you guys. Thanks for tuning in as always. It's really a beautiful day. Got a little bit of blue sky up there. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Aloha everybody. It's about the only time of the day I could get out there today without getting saturated. It was coming down about two inches an hour earlier this morning. So yeah, but all the water tanks are overflowing. <laughs>